now that we have PIMCore set up and we want to log in to the PIMCore administration, what we need to do is go to your host URL, type in slash admin. This will take you to the login screen for the PIMCore administration or directly into the PIMCore administration if you're already logged in. For the username, we add admin and the password admin since that's what I put during the installation process. Click on enter on, on the login button and now you're going to be redirected to the PIMCore administration. On the left side, as we can see, by clicking on one of the icons, we have the side menu and for each side menu option, we have uh, sub options. I know it might seem overwhelming at first, uh, seeing this many features available, but it's actually a good thing. Of course, each feature has its use case. You probably won't need all of them in a single project and I'm quickly going to go through the features, which we will later on go into mo more detail. This is basically going to be for you to know what features we are going to, going to cover. Quick note on the side menu, uh, we have the online shop, the customer management and data hub, and uh, these features are not directly available if you installed the skeleton version of PIMCore. Uh, they are actually PIMCore bundles, which were installed with the demo version, but you can add them manually to any project you wish by installing the bundle you need. For example, if you're creating a web shop, you would install the PIMCore e-commerce bundle, which would give you these these two options. Let's quickly go through the features which we're going to, going to cover. We're going to cover the PIMCore documents and what they're actually used for. Quick note, PIMCore documents are the actual pages on your website. If you're at all familiar with WordPress, this is kind of similar where you have each page as a document created here in PIMCore. You can edit the content, the SEO settings, basically everything on that certain page. Uh, that you have on your site. The only difference that I would say here is that it's a lot more uh, dynamic in a sense where you can actually create your own custom blocks of content which are editable on the page and you have a lot more options from the very get-go on what you can do with a certain page. So basically you have a lot more control than you have on WordPress. Right under the Documents tab, we have the Assets tab. This shows basically all assets that have been added through uh, PIMCore. Uh, they're currently in the demo version inside folders. You don't necessarily have to put them in folders, but it's very good to, to organize them like so. Just quickly, I'm going to show you when you click on a certain asset, what you can actually do with it. You have a lot of basic basic options, which we're going to go into more detail later on. We can download this asset. We can customize the width when downloading, etc. Uh, change the format. We can also edit the asset within PIMCore itself, giving you sort of a mini Photoshop vibe when editing. As I said, we're going to go into more detail later on. Right under that, we have the data objects. These are all of the objects that we're using within our uh, project. You can also organize them within folders. For example, this is actually a car object, which you can find within one of these uh, folders. So BMW, 3 v 5 This is probably, yeah, the black model of the car. We can actually check that by going to here to media and yeah, we have that, that image here. So you can organize objects easily within the administration. We also have, uh, we can also click on a certain folder and filter out objects based on the class from which they're made of. For example, the product here on the page comes from the model car. So if we click here, we're actually going to get the list of all of the car objects on the page. We can additionally filter out 
by any sort of attributes that we have on the car objects. We're going to go into more detail on this grid view because it's a really awesome features, especially for, for clients where they can control and filter out uh, all of the objects that they need. They can also export this. We can format the data, remove certain columns. It's a great feature. We're also going to cover the translations which are added on the site, how to add them, how to add new languages if needed. We're going to go through almost all of the options available here um, in the tools section. Uh, we're going to show you how to uh, set up the system settings where you can change the appearance of let's say the PIM core login page, add languages, as I said, add debug email addresses to, to control where certain emails will be sent during development mode, uh, how to set up the main domain and add error pages specific for a certain language. We're going to go through the system settings, not to go into more detail here. I'm going to show you how to add new users to the PIM core administration, how to control content based on roles and based on users. I'm going to show you how to generate image thumbnails and video thumbnails, document thumbnails. We're going to go through data objects, field collections, object bricks, quantity values. I'm going to show you how to add a static route through the PIM core administration. This is also a, a great thing where you can add routes without actually uh, within the, let's say, Symfony, uh, Symfony controller. We are going to slightly cover the e-commerce part, but not necessarily in very great uh, detail since it has a lot of options and I just want to prepare the content which you will need to know before we start developing the blog for this course. So that's basically the quick run of what we're going to cover. And in the next segment of the course, we're going to first cover the documents. Hope the video helped you. And if you want to learn more about PIMCore, you can check out my Udemy course called Learning PIMCore from Zero to Hero, where I will show you all of the steps from creating a project, buying and setting up a server, as well as deploying your project. Hope to see you there.